I'll read you that Wally book in just a sec, hon. Can you tell me what you see in the Wally book? Who's Wally with? What's her name? Eve. And Wally calls her? Eve. Eva. Putting a little bit of makeup on right now. That's right. As soon as I'm done, I would love to read you the Wally book. Where are we gonna go? To the lumber store. To the lumber store. I will read you the Wally book. What did mommy say? Yes. Yes. Mommy said yes. It's hard to wait, huh? I can't get mommy out of the way. What did mommy say? Yes. Yes. That's right. We have to have endless patience for a two and a half year old. But Wally wanted to do more. Wally was made of metal, but he had a big heart. He knew about love. He had learned it from a movie. We're gonna be blushy today. On the white chair. On the white chair. Yeah. Okay. Mommy's coming, honey. Mommy's here. It's really relaxing doing my makeup. Good job, Mommy. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You were crying at Mommy. You were crying at Mommy. You feel better now? Okay, good. Holly was a robot. He lived all alone on Earth. He spent his days stacking trash, but Wally wanted to do more. Wally was made of metal, but he had a big heart. The new robot did not know about love. She just had a job to do. She had to find life on the planet. It's okay. <laughs> Mommy's here. Oh, no. Would you like to go to the lumber store? Yeah. I'm just crying. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Having a hard time? Yeah. Me too. I understand. <laughs> Sometimes I cry too. Sometimes I cry too. Yeah. Sometimes I feel sad. But sometimes I feel happy. Do you feel happy too? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yes, I will. Okay, ready to go? Okay. Toddlers have a lot of emotions. Uh, big, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just picked up my prescriptions. Papa. Papa drove the papa? Papa drove the flag truck. The flag truck? Yeah, he did. Oh, thank you. Don't want to take everything off the shelf.
zoom, zoom. You don't want to do that. I'll take it out. Back up. I love that school bus. Look, it's got a little stop sign that pops out. Stop, so the kids can be safe in the crosswalk. And stop, go. Yep. Stop, go. Stop, go. All right, where do you want to go? Upstairs. You want to take a nap? You want to go take a nap? Yeah. It'll be nice on a warm day for them to have. Would you guys like some of this? Thank you. What do you guys think? Hey guys, I haven't talked much today. Uh, contractors just left. We are remodeling our bathroom downstairs. It's been a long time coming. So, outside right now, looks like that. I'm excited though, it's gonna be really cute. Turkey vulture. I don't know if I'm even filming it because my camera's flipped around. It's a turkey vulture flying right overhead. Um, I'm gonna come sit out here real quick. I'm gonna give the chickens some food. We can chat about everything. On the hammock, doesn't that sound nice? And here's the coop that we built and the garden bed we built along the outside of it. I'm gonna come over here and give these guys some soaked grain that I soaked for them. This is a little temporary run we built them. Obviously you can see where these to two posts are in the ground is the end of where the run is going to be. It's about 30 or 40 feet, I can't remember, by eight. And it's going to be tall, just like the chicken coop. Oh, now you're all going to run outside? You're on your roost! They're doing it! They haven't been roosting, so this is awesome. Oh, honeys. I have not chatted with you guys much today. It has been an interesting morning so far. First woke up at 7 a.m. and had some coffee and immediately we left to go get lumber for our chicken run that we are building. My dad is helping us with this because we built the chicken coop by ourselves and the quill coop by ourselves, which look awesome and we're so happy with them. But the run is a really big job and he's an awesome builder, has built many fences before. So he offered his help and we are accepting his help. What you did not see today so far is I, so I did have to take my cluster headache medication. It did not work. I'm still in pain right now. And then I started feeling really, really anxious and having a panicky moment. So I took one of my anti-anxiety meds and then I woke up and here we are. And now I am going to water the garden and get prepared for my friend to come over and bring her kiddos for a play date. This is not like a typical day. There is, the thing about my life is there is no such thing as a typical day. I'm also, what you're not seeing is I'm working on this video. I am uh, working on another video that I have to get edited fully edited, uploaded, scheduled, ads put in. Um, it's already been approved by the sponsor. And as I sit here, I'd like to thank today's sponsor who is Thrive Market. So Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable to everyone with guaranteed savings on every order. So I wanted to try it out and see what it was all about. So I ordered a box of a bunch of things. 
I immediately was so impressed because it is, it's awesome. So I placed my order through Thrive Market. I ordered a whole bunch of things. I ordered some pantry essentials. So for us, that would be like apple cider vinegar, ghee. I got some balsamic glaze. I, I also got some of these fruit circles that Thrive Market has that my kiddo absolutely loves. He loves peeling them off. And actually my husband really likes them too. We've tried new things on there that I really, really like. They have these really yummy cinnamon cashews, which are so good. Just a lot of different types of foods and snacks that I haven't really seen before, but have the opportunity to try. So if you live far away from a health food store, you can order Thrive Market. It's delivered directly to your door. And I found shipping to be extremely fast and you can set up auto ship as well. So if there's certain items that you want every month and you want to get them consistently without running out, you can set up auto ship on those items. Thrive Market carries the highest quality grocery essentials, eco-friendly cleaning supplies, non-toxic beauty items, supplements, personal care items, organic kids products, wine, sustainably sourced meat and seafood and more. For orders $49 or more, they are shipped free and delivered with a carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouse. I listened to a podcast and they were talking about how important it is if you can to eat mostly organic if not completely organic. And it is kind of hard in today's day and age to do that. But Thrive Market has been really helpful for that because I found so many organic food items on there that are awesome. I feel good about feeding them to my kid and myself. I've been trying to eat really simplified and healthy and it's just really great to do through there. They have Thrive Market items, which have been awesome. Like we had this strawberry jam that my kiddo loves, a blueberry jam, which I've been mixing into yogurt with some granola. I do grocery delivery as well from like local grocery stores, but I find the fees crazy high and the cool part is is you pay your subscription fee for the month but then you know as long as your orders are over $49 you can get free shipping so I can just order as many boxes as I want basically shipped free to my home throughout that month and I really love that because it's like it gives me the opportunity to shop without having to pay the delivery fee without having to tip etc because that can get really expensive that's kind of one of the more expensive parts of getting groceries delivered and for me who lives kind of far away it is really nice to have things be able to be delivered to my home so it's really great as a thrive market member you'll save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products and if you find a lower price somewhere else they'll match it you'll make back your annual $60 membership in savings so if you don't thrive market will credit you back the difference you look for products with the thrive cash badge on the bottom left corner whenever you see this you can expect to earn thrive cash back for that product purchase once you join you can also check out the deals section on the website or the app and see the best deals and extra savings on your favorite products you can filter the products by diet, lifestyle, products that you like, favorite brands, whether you're gluten-free, vegan, keto, or you can shop over 90 plus diets and values. And supplements. And supplements, that's right. If you guys are interested in checking out Thrive Market, I really, really like them and have been reordering from them multiple times and have found things that my kiddo absolutely loves and myself included that I'm gonna continue ordering from them because it's cheaper than the grocery store and uh, they're shipping it free to my house. So I really just love it so much. And if you guys are interested in checking it out, I'm going to have a link in the description of this video. You guys can click that link or you can go to thrivemarket.com slash rawbeautychristie to get 30% off of your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. And I thank you so much again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Uh, so what am I gonna go do now? I need to go water my garden. And I figured you guys would come with me. I pushed it. You did it. <laughs> I pushed that red button. He turned it on, Daddy. I did it. I pushed the red button. I pushed the red button. You sure did, hon. I'm going to push the black button. I pushed the red button. Good job. Okay, well, look at Look at the red button. <laughs> Look at the red one. Probably 40 minutes. It's a big water job. Um, now I'm gonna go in and edit this, send it in for approval, and carry on with my day. So let's go. Garden's gonna be cute though. We got a late start to planting it, I tell you. We wanted to do more, but building the chicken coop has been priority number one. My husband built me this two days ago. 
how darling this is. I've got nasturtium, uh, calendula, hollyhock, shasta daisy, strawberry, alisum, scented jasmine alata, chamomile. It's gonna be really pretty. And here's the chicken coop. In all its glory, beautiful angel. I've done so many things today. It feels like I've done nothing, um, but man, chronic pain throws you off. I was feeling like I was could feel it potentially coming on this morning, and it hit me hard. So that threw off a couple hours, at least three hours out of my day today, where I could have been doing lots and lots of things, but. I have a really hard time not being productive or just doing nothing. Like I'm not a relaxed person. My therapist quite often asks me, what do you do to relax? I'm like, I don't even know. What is relax? <laughs> I don't ever, ever stop. Maybe that's my problem. On pod pickles of Penny Pig are going on a picnic. Here comes Ma with the picnic basket. Hurry up, Ma. Do you see who's in the back with the statue, Penny Ass Pickles? Goldbug! It's Goldbug! He shows up just about everywhere. Oh my! You got a tummy ache or you feel okay? Like a tummy or something, baby? There's way more wood on the greenhouse. stained and once the stain is dry so it starts off like dark like that and then it kind of dries light like this so you can kind of see the difference of fresh dry I'm just so curious about what I'm doing full disclosure is not the same day as the day in the life, but it is the same time of day as the day in the life that started. My kiddo got sick and it has been really fun. He has something called, I've never heard of it, astrovirus? It's just a really bad tummy bug and it's day now seven and it has been a lot. It has been a lot to, to have to navigate a lot of upsetness, a lot of tears, a lot of being clingy to mommy. So now that we are on day seven of this and mommy is officially exhausted, Zach is letting me take the evening just to kind of unwind. This needs to be done, so I am doing it. This is the chicken run. My dad and Zach actually just built this. So me and Zach built the entire chicken coop that you guys have seen. And 
my dad and Zach built this run because it has been really difficult for me to get away um, this last week. I can't, basically. My kiddo is so attached to me right now that that he's just like won't let me even go to the bathroom without being really upset. Um, I think in the beginning of this video you guys could see that he's very persistent. When he has something that he's interested in, he is like very persistent and just asks and asks and asks. And right now that thing he's very persistent about is want to see mommy. It's been a very mommy heavy week and I wasn't able to come out and help at all with the chicken run. But my dad is amazing, my husband is amazing, and they have been out here building this, and now we're staining it because it's made out of fur. So the quail coop and the chicken coop are both made out of cedar, and cedar is just naturally rot resistant, and so you don't need to stain them. But we made this out of just like regular posts and two by fours, which are fur, and it's more likely to rot. So um, we're staining it with an oil-based stain. This is the same one we used for the greenhouse. So you're watching two disjointed days, but actually everything you guys saw that I did on this morning pretty much was the same as today. We went to the store, got some materials, and started working this morning. The only difference is that today that I didn't film, I had therapy. I'm going to continue staining this and listening to the office. That's what I do when I work outside. Some people listen to YouTube videos, some people listen to podcasts, some people listen to music. I listen to usually season two and three of The Office. I love those ones. I don't know why. I really love the Dundies. Season two, episode one. Season two in general, I just love it. I think it's so good. On the boat, follow me to your desk. Your ball and chain is right over here. There he is. Tony, what's your last name? Gardner. Gardner. I knew that. There you go. Hey, Toby. Hey, Jim. All right, man. Oh, really good. Nice to see you. Hey, welcome back. Oh, is that like a new thing? Or... No. No, I'm sorry. No, it's cool. No, it's not. Uh, I was just... so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what a day in my life looks like. This is the day after the food poisoning and that was so intense. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> I'm still like kind of coming out on the tail end of it so I'm not feeling good, still nauseous and still feeling quite sick but it's definitely not as bad as it was. 
but yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching today's video and for hanging out with me and seeing kind of what a day in my life typically looks like. Very mom-centered, I'd say more than anything. A lot of being a mom and having to mitigate tantrums and things and just carry on through chronic illness. And hopefully we can get that under control because I am really not well. <laughs> I laugh so I don't cry. All right, well, I thank you guys so much for watching. And again, thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring a portion of today's video. It means so much to me that they wanted to work with me. And if you guys are interested in checking out Thrive Market, you guys can go to thrivemarket.com slash Christy to get 30% off of your first order plus a free gift worth up to $60. And I thank you again so much for watching today's video and I will see you at the next one. Bye.